Ladies and gentlemen, first up, the hosts of Late Night. Their shows were among the first to be impacted when the writers went on strike in May. Now the top hosts are ready to return to action together. NBC's entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas is here with details. Chloe, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you guys again. With the dual Hollywood strikes dragging on, Late Night hosts are uniting for a limited series podcast providing fresh laughs and support for their out-of-work staffs as the industry remains largely shut down. Mix. It's the five of us together for uh, maybe an hour. Who do you mean? The stars of Strike late night TV five. coming together after almost four months off the air. Strike Force 5 is the name of our podcast. Subscribe to it now. Starting today, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, and John Oliver are joining together for Strike Force 5, a podcast featured on Spotify. The five competing comedians appearing together via Zoom to make the announcement. One more time, Jimmy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I'm Stephen I Colbert. Thought, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I thought when you said Jimmy, you meant me, Jimmy, but you meant Jimmy, Jimmy. I always mean you. But when you I say always me. Each unscripted episode featuring one of the late night hosts at the helm, with the proceeds going to their respective out of work show teams. Who's got the power? we got the power. In May, 11,500 writers went on strike. Two months later, SAG-AFTRA, with its over 160,000 actors, followed suit, protesting against Hollywood's biggest studios, their demands including higher wages and protection over the use of AI. It's estimated California's economy has lost over $3 billion in revenue since the strike began. So really, the majority of our members are working people, just trying to put food on the table and pay their rent. And we couldn't make a deal on their behalf. Throughout the summer, the hosts showing their support. Americans have been forced to read books and occasionally even speak to one another. <laughs> During the last writer's strike in 2007, late night TV returned after two months off the air. The hosts at the time growing beards in solidarity and finding unique ways to pass the time. That's a good spin, that's a good spin. This time around, the comics have committed to at least 12 episodes of the podcast with casual, unscripted conversations, providing financial relief to their staff and a few laughs. Spotify says the inspiration for this podcast came back in the spring when the hosts would meet weekly to talk about the strikes. Now fans are finally getting the chance to listen in on these once private chats. Um, I should also mention that we've reached out to the studios and the unions for comment, but we haven't heard back you make a good point though this doesn't just affect actors and writers no. there are lots of uh -huh. industries affected by this hair and makeup craft services transportation all of the production the crews that make these shows what they are in these productions and it is affecting everyone and uh, the hardest part about this is that there really is no end in sight we don't know when the next meeting is obviously it's affected the fall tv lineup sure. but this will eventually if it drags on and gets closer to the holidays yeah, and sure. things don't have a resolution it will affect what we watch in Movie the spring schedules as well yeah. everything and people aren't getting paid yeah, yeah. You know? most importantly thank you chloe. most importantly well, a lot of people thank are watching that very closely chloe thank you yeah. so much Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.